I would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of Basic Electrical Engineering. In this video, I'm going to discuss a block diagram approach on wind power generation, how to produce electricity from wind, and how to provide whatever you generate the power, how to provide the grid, how to sell the power to the grid. That concept we are going to learn in this session. Only the brief concept, which will be very much essential for first year engineering students. Moving on to the discussion. What do we mean by wind power generation? In general, we can say the electricity production from the wind. Wind is a renewable form of energy source. Fine. So we'll discuss what do we mean by wind first. Okay. That is very important. How to produce power from the wind. First of all, we'll discuss what is the meaning of wind. Okay. What is a wind? How the wind is formed? Okay, so I'll be writing over here. You can copy this. Uh, wind is the approximate horizontal and vertical movement of air, which is caused by the differential heating of earth surface. Let me rewrite here. Wind is the, okay. Wind is the approximate Approximate horizontal and horizontal and vertical vertical movement of air movement of air caused by caused by differential heating of Earth's surface. Differential heating of Earth's surface. This is the main reason for the formation of wind. In addition to that, we can say that Earth rotation. Okay, Earth rotation. You might have heard about contour lines. Okay, so in civil engineering, we'll be discussing a separate chapter. In geography also, there is one separate chapter called the contour. Okay, so we can say that the differential heating of earth surface, contour of the land. Okay, we can write contour of the land etc. These are the major reasons, another reason uh, for the formation of wind. Okay, hope you understood what do you mean by wind, how the wind is formed. Now let us discuss about how to produce electricity from wind. Fine. In order to produce electricity from wind, we require wind energy power conversion system. The following components are used in wind power energy control system. First component is called wind turbine. Okay, wind turbine. There are different varieties of turbines available. You can see the wind turbine here in the diagram I have put up. See, look at this. These are called wind turbine. Can you observe here? These are called wind turbine. Fine. The second component, we require generators, wind turbine generators. Wind turbine generators. Usually, two types of wind turbine generators are employed. The first type is permanent magnet synchronous generator, short form abbreviation is PMSG. The second varieties of generators are called induction generators. Induction generators. First kind is synchronous generator, constant field generator. Second one is known as induction generator. However, PMSD is most commonly employed. Third one, we require power electronic interface. Power electronic interface. That is the third segment. 
Next, we require one transformer. Then the output of the transformer will be connected to the grid line. Grid. So these are the major components of wind energy power conversion system. Let's understand these components with the help of a simple block diagram. That is very much essential for you. Let's get started. I would like to explain the basic block diagram of wind energy power conversion system. The wind energy power conversion system comprises of first one is called wind turbine. Okay, we can mark wind turbine. This is your wind turbine. So you can observe here. This is a wind that is hitting on the wind turbine. This segment is called as turbine blade. Turbine blade. The wind turbine is coupled with permanent magnet synchronous generator. Or you can write induction generator. Okay, anyone is fine. Depends on the requirement you can use for PMSG or induction generator. Then the output of PMSG that is connected to the power electronic interface. Let me mark it as a dotted line. These are called power electronic interface. Observe very carefully. Without power electronic interface, you will not get the regulated power supply. So the uh, output of wind, wind turbine generator, that will be having lot of irregularity. In the sense, it, it will not be regulated one. So the regulated power will be, the unregulated power will be converted into regulated power by using power electronic interface. Let us write power electronics. Power electronic interface. For stepping up, we require one transformer. Okay. We can step up the voltage by using the transformer, which you can directly connect it to the grid. Grid is nothing but it is a combination of power generation, power transmission, and a power distribution. I have explained in the previous video. Please refer that particular video. How does it work? I am explaining the working. So let me write it over here. Working. First of all, due to differential heating of earth, due to the rotation of earth or different contour lines, the wind is formed. The wind is directly heating over the turbine blades. I think it is very clear. Wind is having kinetic energy. As soon as the wind hits over the wind turbine, what is going to happen? Wind turbine produce the mechanical energy. So, first of all, we can write wind turbine produce. Wind turbine produces mechanical energy. Let me write it as mechanical energy. It is very clear that wind turbine is coupled with the wind turbine generator. Usually PMSG, that means permanent magnet synchronous generator or induction generators are employed as wind turbine generator. What is the duty of wind turbine generator? Wind turbine generator converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. So we'll write wind turbine generator, WTG. Wind turbine generator, please elaborate it. For my convenience, I'm writing abbreviation. Wind turbine generator that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. I think it's clear to everybody. Am I right or not? Yeah. Third one. The whatever the energy produced by the wind, uh, wind turbine generator, that will not be reg regulated one. So using the power electronic interface, power electronic interface, let me write this PEI, power electronic interface, the unregulated uh, power, unregulated, okay, unregulated power will be converted into regulated power. I wanted to explain this regulated power by using power electronic interface. Okay, let me discuss about power electronic interface. Now look at this. Output of PMSD or induction generator, that will be AC only, three-phase AC. It is a three-phase AC. So we require, we have to convert three-phase AC into a DC by using a three-phase rectifier. Three-phase rectifier. I think it's clear to everybody. If you check the output here, it will be DC only. 
it is a dc supply it is a dc power in order to hold the dc power constant we require a dc link capacitor we can note it down dc link capacitor okay dc link capacitor so the output of dc link capacitor that is connected to the inverter what is the duty of inverter the inverter converts the dc power supply to ac power supply what kind of ac you require here we require three phase ac fine so we require a three phase inverter inverter operation everything i will explain in power electronics lecture series so output of inverter that is connected to a step up transformer a step up transformer we are going to use and the output of inverter is connected to a step up transformer obviously suppose if the grid voltage it may be like 400 volt the output of inverter may be uh, 300 what you will do you will be using a step up transformer using the step up transformer you can boost up the increase the voltage without changing frequency and power so the output of transformer can be directly given to grid with a, a certain procedure synchronization has to be done uh, voltage frequency everything has to phase all those things has to be matched then only you can directly uh, supply the power produced from the wind, uh, wind generator uh, to the grid otherwise it is not possible now let me discuss about the backup segment suppose the excess of power what you can do is excess of power you can store it inside the battery fine you can see the battery bank it's a battery bank fine so we require a bi-directional dc dc converter use the bi-directional dc dc converter suppose the excess of power is produced from the uh, wind turbine generator what at that time what you can do the power can be directly uh, sent to the battery bank so that battery bank will be getting charged uh, in case uh, the wind turbine uh, generator will not work with sufficient wind energy is not available at that time what you can do you can take the power supply from the battery which is energy is already stored so that is why we are using a bi-directional dc dc converter you can do so many projects based on this particular block diagram you can go for the design of bi-directional dc dc converter it's a very good project so there are various scope for interdisciplinary students that is the advantage of taking these uh, electrical subjects especially for first years fine I hope you understood uh, what is uh, wind power generation and uh, what are the components. So starting from wind, then wind turbine, uh, wind turbine generator, power electronic interface, transformer, then uh, output. It will be connected to the grid. Uh, for If you want, you can use the battery for the backup purpose with the help of a bi-directional DC-DC converter. So this is a summary about wind power generation system. Now, please tell me what are the advantages and disadvantages of wind power generation system. So let us discuss about the advantage. What are the advantages? Advantages. It is a renewable, correct? No? Renewable, free of cost, everything we can mention. Then pollution free, no air pollution. Pollution free in the sense, no air pollution. Abundant and friendly. Okay, these are the various surplus availability. These are the advantages. While we are talking about this advantage. What are the drawbacks or setbacks of a uh, wind turbine? A uh, wind turbine generation system, power generation system. First one is the surrounding area. It may cause noise pollution. Air pollution won't be there, but there is a noise pollution in the surrounding area. So it will be getting distracted by the animals as well as human beings. So what is another drawback? Site selection is a difficult job. Site selection. It is not an easy job to find out the particular site. At least uh, the wind speed should be 20 km per hour. Minimum wind speed should be above 20 km per hour. Very rare wind uh, sites are available in our country. That's a problem. Fine. I hope you understood what is wind power generation, what are the components of wind power generation, and what are the advantages and disadvantages of wind power generation. Apart from that, you can do some uh, good projects based on this particular concept. So, in the I'll be starting a separate playlist on renewable energy sources, which will be applicable for interdisciplinary branches. At that time, I'm going to elaborate more. Thank you for watching this video. Happy learning. Have a great day.